We get straight to that breaking news. San Antonio Police Chief is host, holding a press conference as we speak on the latest update on the capital murder case of a young couple and their unborn child. We're talking about 18 year old Savannah Soto and 22 year old Matthew Guetta. They were both found dead on Tuesday inside their car at an apartment complex in the medical center. Again, uh, Police Chief William McManus just wrapped up a press conference down at public safety headquarters. I'm being told he was taking questions. We do know that SAPD put out some surveillance video. Let's get straight to Zach Briggs. He's live at public safety headquarters after the police chief just wrapped up. Zach, what can you tell us? Yeah, Phil, McManus just wrapped up the press conference and released surveillance video showing two vehicles. One of them, take a look at your screen, is seen exiting a dark colored pick approaching a silver Kia Octava. And you have two individuals interacting with each other, some type of exchange perhaps going on. Now, this is the same Kia Optima that was found at the 5900 block of Danny K. And inside that car, Matthew Guetta and Savannah Soto found dead. And now it was asked of McManus uh, if he has a message to the families impacted of Soto and Guetta. And he said that uh, at this time, he's just saying this is a heinous act, unspeakable. And he was also... Uh, answered a question about whether he's ruling out murder-suicide that is still a potential possibility, but uh, McManus is cautious on confirmation of anything at this point. But we do have surveillance video that shows two persons of interest is what they're calling them. And this video was taken just, surveillance video was captured just days before Soto and Guetta were discovered, and it's nearby uh, where uh, they were discovered dead. So that's the latest, but we're hoping to gather more information as it becomes available. Phil, back to you. You. And if anyone wants to see that video again, you can go to our website at kens5.com. And of course, if you have any information, call the SAPD Homicide Unit. Now, our other